Shalom, dear friends. I hope that you had a great Thanksgiving and that you were able with your families to give thanks to God for the incredible things that he's done through you, in you, and in your families. Uh, we're all so grateful. It's because of our gratitude uh, that we participate in what we call Giving Tuesday. Our giving flows from God's giving to us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And because he gave us Jesus, we can show our gratitude in many different ways. So let me update you on our work among Ukrainian and Russian Jewish people. You see, despite the decrease in media attention, the war in Ukraine is still raging. But praise God, we've been able to help many Jewish people from Ukraine return to Israel or make Aliyah, literally to go up, to go back to the land of Israel. We've also been helping a lot of Russian Jewish people who are escaping the increasing amount of oppression and a lot, a lot of them have been fleeing uh, to Israel. In fact, some people say that it's about a 60-40 mix, 60% Russians and 40% Ukrainians. Now, let me tell you what we've been doing. So we've rented a few apartments and we're helping some of these Ukrainians and Russian new immigrants rebuild their homes in Israel. Most of these refugees have lost everything during the evacuation. So we're eager to see the Lord provide for them through us, through our ministry, through you and me. One of our ministry staff recently organized a wonderful family retreat for both Russian and Ukrainian Jewish people. And the Russians and Ukrainians were able to set aside differences because we created such a peaceful atmosphere, an atmosphere of shalom, because most of them were unbelievers, but of course all our staff uh, love the Lord and experience his peace. And so it, so the peace kind of followed into the room and people felt that they could be at peace with one another. And, and it was a great opportunity for God to speak to them and to change their hearts. We've also provided uh, scholarships. Some of the refugee kids, because there are just so many of them, to attend our children's camps. We can't take them all, but we take as many as we can. We had a hundred at our last camp. And all that we do, it's our desire to share the hope of Yeshua and the love of Yeshua with these uh, precious Russian and Ukrainian Jewish people. One of our staff also reported that a, a Ukrainian refugee from Germany accepted the Lord in one of our congregations. She said, I came to Germany as a refugee just to find Jesus. <laughs> and she's decided now to return from Germany back to Ukraine because the Lord has compelled her to return to the Ukraine and to tell others uh, about uh, himself. And I want you to know that your partnership with us is so important because there are countless stories like this. And we hope that on this Giving Tuesday, you'll consider giving a gift to help us continue this ministry. For your gift of $35 or more, we'd like to send you a booklet entitled uh, Ukraine and the Jewish People. We've written extensively in this booklet about the history of the Jewish people, the history of the Messianic movement in Ukraine, the importance of Ukraine uh, for the Jewish community, and it will help you understand one of the reasons, aside from just wanting to do something that would please the Lord and help people, but there's really important reasons for why we want to reach the Jewish people in Ukraine. It's a historic bastion of Jewish life and culture and, and faith, and so it's a very, very important place. So thank you so much for whatever God enables you to do. We're so grateful uh, for you and for your sacrifice and for your generosity on this Giving Tuesday. Shalom, and may the Lord be with you.